What can I say about this one? It's probably my favorite from the house, Agua de Parma. I have quite a few from this house, so that's a very big statement. Welcome to my place. My name is Dave. Now, it is not, I would not say this is a, com it is not a complicated scent, okay? I gotta tell you, the first few wearings, I was not sure what it was. I'm not quite sure. Later, I realized it's a very natural smelling, green, fresh type of scent with a, uh, the traditional colonial take just in the back in the, in the first yeah the first uh, sprays and then while the middle and the dry down is going to to me okay just very very green natural green is the most natural green of the bunch now what do I have from the house well of course I have the original colonial I'm not gonna take too much time just going for you know, I have the pura I have a bunch of stuff not enough big table intensa uh, but anyway, bunch of, you know, Arancia, the blue series, the green, um, the Essenza, Intenza, the Oud, like, like four or five of this, uh, this blue ball. Now, why am I saying this? Because I said this is probably, probably my favorite from the line, from the house. So that tells you, if you say, hey Dave, do you have Intenza, Essenza, all those are very hyped. I actually still like this one better, but I'm biased because I enjoy the green stuff, the natural, anything that uh, that, that bring out the, the nature. And that's what it does for me, especially in the dry down. Now, in the beginning, it's very strong citrus. You know, what do you expect from the house of Aquatipama, the colonial line? What That's what they try to portray, the Italian house, Italian coast. And that's what it does. And I love it. I love that that different uh, vibe than the typical designers. This is for sure. I don't want to, I don't care about the design in niche anymore. I used to say that, but I thought nowadays the, the, the line is so blur. It is hard. I would just say the big designer house, right? Okay. But as far as niche and designer, I, I get confused and I get confused too. So I'm not going to go there. So this is um, the Italian house and they give you the Italian vibe, especially this bottle shape, this lineup. And it's great in the beginning the strong citrus right there there's like lemons scrape fruit and for sure colonia they, ha they have to have lavender it's there too and strong vetiver now the vetiver adding with the citrus and lavender the whole gamut of scents it, it brings out just to me it's, it's not really it's tricky it's not really necessary green 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 okay not necessarily like this type of green but it smells like nature to me. And I'm not sure how they would carry that out, but of everything else, this is more purely a natural type of scent. Even though I have another one that's called Pura. Okay. But this one is, it's, if it's, I would just say it's, it's the most natural that I have in, you know, smell. And one of the, one of the thing they mentioned about this, one of their main points is this one is, uh, I remember it's like 99% from natural ingredients. That's one of the thing. But a lot of times when that's the case in a fragrance, they don't last that long or they don't project. But this one defies that. This one projects well, uh, half an arm's length for sure. It lasts for a long time. I tell you, I spray this in the morning. Uh, I spray on my hair, on my neck, on my shirt, maybe total six sprays. I could, I could be a liberal on this one, just spray away. At nighttime, when I'm showering, I wash my hair, I smell it all over. It just, it just stuck to me the whole time. Now, at times I would not smell it, maybe, you know, nose blind to it, but then people around me smell it and they enjoy it too. But it's not a, like a typical compliment beast, just because it's not that sweet, maybe two out of 10 for the sweet. But the, the citrusy, the lemonly, the, the vetiver, it stayed there the whole time. The greenness. <sighs> do you know what? Some of you might not pick up the green as much as I do, but somehow I just feel so nice and green in a very positive way. Okay. You know what? The more I'm talking about this, I've been wearing this the last few days uh, just for the review. And the more I'm thinking, I, I want another bottle of this. If I see a good for a good price. Now, I picked it up. <sighs> You could pick this up for anywhere 
uh, over 100 or just a bit below 100 but if you see on sale for 60 or 70 that's a steal to me because the qual quality is way way better than you know cheapies okay so you're talking about this is uh, uh anywhere under 100 i think it's a great price to me okay personally i think i'm saying the quality of the fragrance is worth that price okay and the longevity is still is still good i was surprised um the fragrance from this house lasts long on me i'm not sure why typically my skin are pretty stingy on the fragrances but this house is okay it's okay at least half a day or longer to a full day so at least four to six or seven or eight hours and like i say after a full day when i was shower i still smell it okay so it is not a really it's not really a complex scent that's not what they're trying to do they just give you some that does have the vibe and then each one of these will give you a different take on the, the you know, colonial vibe. And this one is for me, the very, very green, fresh, natural, the most natural type, uh, the, the vibe of the colonial. Okay, so if you have tried any of this, just imagine that that's what you have. If you don't, I have never tried this before, you really have to, you owe it to yourself if you enjoy this fragrance um, hobby to try at least one of the bottle because the colonial line, colonial line is just very different than the typical designers, uh, especially in the USA, you know, where, which they usually focus more on the Ambroxan, the sweets, tonka beans, um, you know, those type of thing, or citrusy or the cardamom. This is citrusy, but it's done with a vibe. So once you try once before of the colonial line of the t Italian coast vibe, then you know what I'm talking about. It's just it's just very different and just very enjoyable. I would say, well, maybe it has an old fashioned type of barber shop type of citrusy. Yeah, I could go there. You could go that way too. But if I did not imagine that way, I did not think about that way. I did not go there. I did not imagine that setting. I just think about the Italian coast, be able to, you know, walk on the beach and then there's a lot of flowers around. Yeah, this, it's not really a floral notes here. I'm just saying, okay. There's some lavender and some sage. For sure, a lot of citrus playing around. Yeah, this is one of the one of my very favorites. The first couple of times I wasn't used to it, like I said, so it takes time. So maybe, you know, if you're in the same situation, for sure I'll live with it, okay? Yeah. Um, I was not necessarily say this is soapy. No, not really. It's not really an oak moss, no, not anything green like that. I'm trying to think about what else, but it's not as complex scent. So what I told you is what I get basically to relax the whole fragrance. Yeah, I just love this one, but at times it's hard to explain why, okay? But this one just is fresh. It's, um, it's clean, okay? In the beginning, it was just a bit sharp, but in a very good way. Yeah, this is classy for sure. I imagine this is a very classy type of scent. If you wear this right away, if you put together, it's not those cheapies that um when you when you wear it and people say ah it's okay or kind of out of place, whatever or juvenile, nothing like that. This is a uh, very classy stuff. Yeah, absolutely love this one. I give it two thumbs up for sure. Ten out of ten in my book. Um, this may be one of the few that gets ten out of ten. Maybe the only one. I I don't recall right now. It's fresh. It's 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 a little bit classy. I would not necessarily say it's old school. <clears throat> old school means it's old, but a, a more too classy or too vintage. No, this is classy. Not do you know what classy? Okay, instead of vintage, is classy. Not classic, but classy. Okay, let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, with that said, I hope that is helpful. Though, um, did I miss anything? Situations. It's not necessarily a professional type of scent, okay, because it's very citrus dominating. It's played by that vetiver that to give you that, you know, this citrusy type of take. Yeah, so it's I don't know about meetings, but everything anything else, perfect. Um it's gonna be good for the hot weather for sure. But you know what? I'm I like this one in the cool weather. In the um maybe winter time where the air is cold. This will have a different effect, but in, in a very cool way. Very nice as if you, you walk in a garden during the cold winter. That, I do get that, and that's very enjoyable. Really enjoyable. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything else, but love this one. With that said, thumbs up. See you next time.